Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We are trying to show you out of history, the Bible is our history book. That's and while we are in conditions, we disobey God's laws. He sent the white man to come and conquer us. That's what happened. We were brought over here. Right. We are POWs. We are POWs. We were brought here prisoners of war and we never were released. You understand? We does not have the same rights as everyone else. We cannot do the same thing as everybody else. This is why we curse. God, God sent the enemies against us because we disobeyed his laws, Marco. That's right. That's simple. We disobey God's law. You can't see us as a cursed people. Who gets, who gets shot down in the middle of the street? I'm with you, Marco. Marco, I know we are the salt of the earth. I ain't cursed, bro. Listen, listen. I'm talking about as, I'm talking about as a people, Mark. Mark, are you gonna listen to me? You gonna let me talk? You're not letting me talk. Well, you don't gotta agree with me. You still gotta let me speak. I let you speak. All right, come on. Let's get us man. Let's get us man. Keep telling me I'm cursed, though. Listen, I said we as a people. That's what I'm trying to tell you. We are because listen to my listen to it. We're cursed because of these following reasons. Listen up. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So we're describing who put a yoke of iron upon our neck. We are just trying to show you out of history, the Bible is our history book. And while we are in conditions, we disobey God's laws. He sent the white man to come and conquer us. That's what happened. We were brought over here. Right. We are POWs. We are POWs. We were brought here prisoners of war and we never were released. You understand? We does not have the same rights as everyone else. We cannot do the same thing as everybody else. Can't you see we go into the store? Oh, we get pulled over by the police, we can be put to death. We see it every day on social media. We just show you out of the Bible, how do we identify ourselves as Israelites? Do you believe you're an Israelite? Do you believe you're an Israelite? Because that is the chosen. You're an Israelite. I'm chosen. Right. I don't believe I'm no white Jew though. No, that's what we said. We we are Israelites. Okay. So those people that say they Jews, they're not the real Jews. They I, I took our identity. That's right. That's why you are associated with it. Give me Revelations two and nine. Because in the Bible it, it tells you those people that say they Jews, they are not the real Jews, Marco. So when you hear about a Jew, you're thinking about, or Israelite, you're thinking about a white man. They stole our identity, just like they stole Christ's identity. That's right. Marco, they stole Christ's identity, right? They stole your identity too. I want to show you out the Bible. It is the people that's going to be calling themselves Jews, <coughs> right? Read this. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. So who is going through tribulation? Who is in poverty? It's us. Deniably that is us, man. You look at any other workers. Look at the census. We have the lowest wages. We have the the highest, but the lowest life expectancy out of all the rest of the people. That's right. We got the highest in diseases, the highest in cancer, the highest in all these diseases, man. You telling me we not a cursed people? You think about anything across the board. We are affected at a higher rate than everybody else. We fill up the jails. Nobody is filling up the jails. They made laws so that we can be fill up the jails, Marco. 
This didn't happen to everybody else. We are a cursed people because of this. We broke God's laws. That's why these things are happening to us at an alarming rate above everybody else. If you have a child, right, you don't discipline all the ch children on the block. You discipline your child. That's what God doing to us. Read what you read. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We are rich because the promises is for us. We're going to rule again, Marco. That's right. We're ruling again. It's prophesied that we're going to rule again. No, listen to this real fast. And I know the blasphemy of them which listen. say they are Jews. It's the people that's going to be saying. Read that again. You know the word? And I know the blasphemy. What's a blasphemy? Well, that's a lie. He said, I know the lies of these people. Read. Of them which say they are Jews and say they are Jews. Who's saying they're Jews, Marco? Right. He said, it's a lie, though. Read. And are not. They are not the Jews. They are not the Jews. We are the Jews. That's right. We are the Israelites. You are a Jew. We tell you the greatest news we ever need to hear. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. The Jews, them so-called Jewish people, they are the synagogue of Satan. That's, that's right. right. All right. They're the ones that's running a lot of this movie, uh, music industry, this movie industry. That comes from them. And they portray us in a bad light with having propaganda. So now we get shot down. Now when somebody walk past, they lock their doors. That's why when the police get out, these, these white police, are, they scared. They act like they tough, they scared. They, they get out the car, they shoot us on sight. That's what's going on. That's a curse. Who else is getting shot down in broad daylight by the police? You see this on the news every day. We're not trying to argue about nothing. We're just trying to show you it's a historical book that's talking about us, the things that we need to do to be able to get out of these conditions. You understand? Because you got to be able to see yourself in the Bible. Hey, brother, when you think of Jesus, what color is Jesus? I don't think of Jesus. You don't think of it, but is it a color in the Bible? Right. What, so, so you don't think of a color. When you think of Jesus, you don't think of an image in your mind. No. Well, you should have an image in your mind. Who told you not to put an image in your mind? God, I wish. God bless you. Islam, so you Islam. You believe in... What does Islam believe? You believe in what I believe in? So you, you want the nation of Islam or no? No. You just like a... Big Omar. Big Omar? So, that deep... So do you know where Islam came from? Where it come from? All right, who made it? A man, a man made it, right? Yeah, every, every religion is man made. What, what, who, made, who made this man? Who made that? Yeah. Who made what? Who made what, I, like I said, you say every religion is made. I'm not in a religion. I'm, I'm not telling you my nationality and what, why I do the things I do because it's in the Bible, it's our historical records. You know about my religion? Yeah, I know about your religion. I know about your religion. Do you know about it? That's why I'm asking you. So you read the... Uh, the Quran. Okay, I'll pray. So the Quran teaches to do the Quran teach you about the children of Israel? Yeah. Right. It talks about the children of Israel quite often in there, right? It tells you to go to the Bible. Right. I tell you to go to the Bible, but I'm saying it tells you about the children of Israel, right? But do you call yourself a children of Israel? No. Why not? I call myself Alex. No, I'm saying, are you an Israelite? What's your nationality, Alex? What's my nationality? Yeah. Born What's that mean? You, your nationality is where you're not where you're born. It's not? No. So why you call Africans Africans? Because that's the, that's the name of their oppressor. That's the, that's the name of the man who renamed that country. I'm not saying that. I didn't say they was Africans. I'm saying our nationality, we come from tribes of people, right? We come from tribes of people. We're, our nationality does not dictate where we live. But our nationality is very important. We're trying to figure out what were we before we got to America. That's what I'm saying. So Islam is a religion. A new religion that was made like in 800, in 800 something like that. Yes. It's when it was made by, by a man named, what's his name, Muhammad? Muhammad made it. 
Yes. He's an angel. He was a, a man. He said an angel came to him, and that's how he wrote the Quran. He couldn't read or write. Okay, yeah. You, you know this book? Right. Yeah. So he made it. You know where he copied it from? Do we got that book? You know where he copied it from? Where he copied it from? Yeah. The man that couldn't read or write copied it from. You know where he got the information from? No, no. No, he didn't get it from no angel. That's what I'm saying. In real life, where did he get it from? Because. Huh? Yeah, because he got it from us. He got it. The Bible was already here before Jesus came. It was. Yes. You didn't know this? The book of Thomas. No, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, I don't know. The book of Thomas is not in here. It's not in there. A lot of books not in that one. Yeah, we got 80 books in this book. So I'm saying. Our nationality was lost, but you saying you Islam, right? Do you know we were slaves to Islam as well, like we was to Christianity here? Yes! Yes! Re read what you got. This book is entitled From Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Windsor, page 45. After Muhammad became a camel driver, he traveled to remote and intriguing land. He led his caravan to Persia, Syria, and Egypt, transacting business with merchants of every kind. On his business trip, he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. So he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. This is where, do you, want, you know why you, you, you pray towards your land? Towards my land. Don't, don't, don't Islam teach you to pray towards the east? Towards your land? Towards Mecca. Right. That's what I'm saying. Don't they teach you that? Yeah, that's not my land. That, who land is it? That's the holy land. No. So they don't teach you that that's your land? We we pray towards our land. That's what I pray towards my land. I pray where? We pray towards Israel. That's where our land is. Right. So that's where did he get to pray towards his land from? He got it from the Israelites. That's where it came from. Do you know what's in the company? A whole bunch of idols. No. Rick. No, they destroyed the idols. Right. He, they destroyed the idols. It's, it's that copy itself is an idol. It's a piece of rock in there. So you said, matter of fact. It's a meteorite. It's a meteorite yeah, yeah, it's like in there. That's what it is. So they let me ask you a question. So are you supposed to follow the Bible? This is my last question. Are you supposed to follow what the Bible says? Are you supposed to follow what the Bible says? Am I supposed to follow? I swear I'm I'm going to ask you a question. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So it's saying he's going to scatter us. How do we even get to Africa? We got scattered there. You understand that? We got scattered there. We came up out of Israel and got scattered all across Africa. It says you're going to be scattered. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our fathers didn't know this. This is pre. This is this. The book of Deuteronomy was written before Islam was even formed. Read. Even wood and stone. So he says you're going to serve wood and stone. What are the two major religions today? I go fish. Christian. And what else? And Islam, hey, you're going hey, to serve go wood and stone. That's what God so prophesied. Well, he used Moses to prophesy what was going to happen. He said, you're going to serve wood and stone. Islam is that stone. You're not supposed to worship a stone. You said I worship a stone. Islam worship the stone. That's when they do a hajj around it. That's going into worshiping a stone. That's not all the hajj is. I'm saying it. The I'm new. Go, they go and kiss the stone marble. too. You walk the clean soft and marble. You stand on top of the stone. Do they kiss the stone? You kiss water too. Brother, brother, come on. Reason with me now. Do they kiss the stone? The axes, do they kiss the stone? Yeah. The stone, we kiss water. We kiss no, but they go and hide around it. They this, show respect to the stone. The I understand, but I'm saying that's not in the Bible. What you talking about is not in the Bible. We didn't do this. That's not in the Bible. It says you want to serve wood and stone. They're not that, serving wood. That is serving stone, brother. That's what that is. That's not a religion of the Bible. God does not want us to worship any image. The bow down, do a hodge to it, nothing. What is the nation?
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation 